Ladies and gents, welcome back. This, I thought, was going to be a fake story, a case of rage bait. Um, no, it turns out that this is a true tale uh, coming from Oakville, Ontario. A teacher has transitioned into what can only be described as a cartoonish caricature of what that person may think a woman is. We have here from Andy No. On Twitter, viral images of trans teacher wearing oversized breasts that sagged to the waist have been investigated by Redux magazine. The teacher, the tech teacher, is Kayla Lemieux of Oakville Trafalgar High School in Ontario, Canada. The school stands by its teacher. We've got the article here Ontario high school teachers seen wearing massive prosthetic bust to class. If you scroll down in the article, you can also see uh, on the school's website, uh, the profile of this individual teacher here. I've got a True North, North article here. Levy, Halton School Board fails to handle teachers obscene coming out. And again, more images uh, getting out there on social media of this particular teacher. A transgender high school teacher pictured wearing mammoth fake breasts and tight tops to her class has gone viral on social media. The teacher Kayla Lemieux was photographed in the shop class where she teaches at Oakville Trafalgar High School wearing what appears to be a busty prosthetic under very tight shirts allowing fake nipples or showing showing fake nipples along with bike shorts and blonde hair, likely a wig. Uh, she is seen in class both speaking and demonstrating woodcutting on a saw with her fake breasts over hovering dangerously close. Other shots show her walking with <laughs> walking both inside the halls of the school and wearing a purple mask to match her tight shirt. Now, <laughs> it's hard not to laugh at the imagery that we're seeing here. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's clearly absurd. It's clearly, this is, this is what's, uh, being presented in, in a high school for, uh, obviously children almost threw up the caption says, uh, that the student put on line. It's, uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say to this. I, I, I feel sad for this individual, really, I really do, because what we what we see here is someone who clearly has uh, some mental illness, and this it's it's being enabled by uh, the school in this case. So clearly, this individual has has issues of their own. I feel bad for them, and. Uh, Clearly, this is inappropriate for the classroom, uh, but the school is standing behind this teacher. The article goes on, according to the website, selling these prosthetic breasts. The largest pair can weigh up to 35 pounds. Wow. Both Lemieux and the school's principal, Meredith Kamisuli, did not respond to True North's request for comment but on the appropriateness of her presentation. But on Friday afternoon, the school removed the list of staff and their email addresses from its website. I'm, I'm guessing they were inundated with calls and um, emails. Reports say the teacher, Stephen Hanna, identified as male last year. He is listed on LinkedIn as a manufacturing technological teacher. And there's, there's more instances of this imagery. At first, many Twitter users believe the pictures to be parody when given their outrageousness, but it would appear the students in the shop class took the photos and vouched for their authenticity. Although somewhat quieter than other Ontario school boards, the Halton District School Board appeared appears to be no less woke. The board's recently appointed director, Curtis Ennis, came directly from the Ontario District School Board, which has taken leadership role in its effort to push radical gender and anti-black racism ideologies. The HDSB gender expression policy created, under, created in October of 2021 
indicates that students and staff have the right to equitable treatment based on gender identity and gender expression. This is apparently gender expression. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think a lot of people would find that offensive. The HS, HDSB is uh, committed to establishing and maintaining a safe, caring, inclusive, equitable, and welcoming and learning and working environment for all members of the school community, staff included, who identify as transgender. Under the dress code, the policy states that all students should be permitted to wear clothing if their choice of their choice, provided that the clothing does not violate the school's dress code. They don't go into what the dress code is here, but <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> that uh, okay? That doesn't violate the dress code. This section indicates dress code will be developed, permitting students to express their gender identity. There's no indication that this policy, in this policy, what constitutes a suitable dress code for a transgendered teacher. I think it would just be the suitable dress code for any individual of of that sex. Um, I don't see why that would differ in that case. But one does not need to be a rocket scientist to suggest that coming to school dressed like an outrageous drag queen, whether a man who identifies as a female or biological female, is highly inappropriate. Absolutely. Now, the school made a statement. Uh, here's what the school wrote. Dear Oakville, and this, this was addressed at the parents, of course. Dear Oakville Trafalgar High School families, we're aware of discussions on social media and media regarding Oakville Trafalgar High School. We'd like to take this opportunity to reiterate to our community that we are committed to establishing and maintaining safe, caring, inclusive, equitable, and welcoming learning experience for learning and working environment for all students and staff. As a school within the Halton District School Board, Oakville Trafalgar High School recognizes the rights of students, staff, parents, guardians, and community members to equitable treatment without discrimination based on gender identity, gender expression, gender identity, and gender expression are protected grounds under the Ontario Human Rights Code. Nobody's saying you can't be a transgender person. They're just saying that this is obscene. It's 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 obscene. <laughs> we strive to promote a positive learning environment in schools consistent with the values. These are the values of the HDSB and to ensure a safe and inclusive environment for all students, staff, and community, regardless of race, age, ability, sex, gender identity, gender expression, sexual orientation, ethnicity, religion, cultural observance, socioeconomic circumstances, or body type size. Right. This isn't this person's body type or size. This is prosthetic. This is... <laughs> <laughs> they they limit what earrings you can wear at high schools and things like that. Come on. <laughs> you can't can't put oh anyway. This uh, it just it, it keeps getting more and more absurd. Lemieux had <laughs> Lemieux may have felt the need to make a statement, but her coming out as a female is obscene, not all the not at all conductive to classroom learning. Most Twitter commentators the commenters agreed that they don't care whether the teacher is transgendered, but Lemieux's choices are beyond the pale. Absolutely. Instead of hiding behind their gender policy or removing the names of staff people from their Oakville Trafalgar High School website, it would be nice to see the HDSB act like adults and take a measured comment, a common sense approach to this teacher. At the moment, and this is, okay, here we go. At the moment... If we had to give this school marks for its mishandling of the situation, it would be a double F. <laughs> of course, of course. But this may this brings me into uh, a, a, another point of view here, and uh, this is the blueprint of for Canada .ca, and this is this is a group moving forward trying to alleviate the situation that we're in currently school board trustee elections are now being held across canada we need your vote they say 
Elections for representatives in school boards, October 15th in British Columbia, October 26th in Manitoba, October 17th, Yellowknife Northwest Territories, and it goes on. Check the website for the places where you live. Mark your calendars. We reject, we reject the influence of extreme left and extreme right in favor of moderate centrist policies which benefit all Canadians. Read our full policies list here. There's a link there. You do not have to have children in the public school system to run as or vote or vote, sorry, in school board for a school board trustee. Ask your school board trustee candidates if they support the Blueprint for Canada movement and vote accordingly. Now, there's all kinds of information on this website. Of course, I'll leave a link in the description down below. You can check it out. But this is where <laughs> this is where we got to draw the line. Like it's getting a little bit too. It's going a little bit too far. Nobody cares if Kayla Lemieux, uh, chosen name, wants to uh, be the person they want to be. It's more about them being appropriate in the classroom. So we see. Uh, <laughs> you can go to the website. You can check out. There's a lot of um, specific things that they're targeting here. We have promoting diversity. Diversity can be a strength, but it only, but only if it's implemented in ways which don't divide people. The problem with equity, equity of opportunity or equality, sorry, equality of opportunity or equality of outcome, and at what a co at what, what what cost? The <laughs> necessary limits of inclusion. A healthy society must impose limits on exposing children to fringe adult behavior. And it goes on and on why school boards must resist gender affirmation policies. Sane, sane spaces, not safe spaces. Uh, absolutely, go check it out. This is a great website and it's pushing, it's pushing a more sane, rational look at how we should be looking at education for our children in the country. But let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think of this whole situation? I thought it was parody when I first saw it on Twitter. I thought this was somebody goofing and it was going to come out over the weekend that it was all fake. It wasn't a real story, but you you can't you can't even parody reality anymore these days, ladies and gents. This is where we're at. Anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so now. Consider subscribing. Subscribing. And hit that notification bell. It lets you know when I go live. I go live every Friday at 6.30 Pacific time. But sometimes I go live with a guest on uh, other days of the week. So make sure you're notified. You got that bell rung for that. Hit the like button and we'll see you in the next one. Keep on trucking.